Hello friends, in this part, we will make examination timer, that means we will make timer, which will display how many times are remaining for end of examination. Here we have used time circles plugin, for make timer and in this plugin library, we have already included in header.php file. Now we have go to view exam.php file, and here we have write division tag, with id is equal to exam timer, we will initialize time circles plugin for display timer, under this tag. Here we have add data timer attribute is equal to, echo dollar remaining minutest variable value, Based on this variable value, this plugin will display remaining minutes and seconds on web page, in timer format. For initialize time circles plugin, here we have write dollar with division tag id exam timer, with time circles method, it will initialize time circles plugin under this exam timer division tag. Under this method, we have write time option. And under this option, we have write days option, and this option show property set to false. Same way, we have write hours option, and this option show property set to false. So, here timer is ready, now when exam time over, then for display pop up message. Here we have write set interval call back function, with 1000 millisecond, to this function execute code on every 1 seconds. Under this function, we have write remaining second variable is equal to dollar with division tag id exam timer with time circles method dot get time method. This code will return remaining second, which we have store under this remaining second variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition. We have write remaining second variable value, is less than 1, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write alert statement, with message like exam time over, it will pop up dialog box with this message. For refresh web page, we have write location dot reload method, it will reload whole exam page, after exam time is over, now check in browser. Friends, here we have on running online exam page, and here we can see one question with four option, and with previous and next button navigation, and question number navigation. Now we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here on left side of web page we can see timer has been appear on web page, this timer has display remaining minutes on web page. Once exam time is over, then pop up message will appear on web page, and this page will be refresh. Below this timer, we want to display user profile details, for this we have go to view exam.php file, and here we have make one division tag with id is equal to user details area. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have make load user details function, this function will make user profile details on web page.
Under this function, we have start write Ajax request, with first option URL set to, user Ajax action.php file, so it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method option, and here we have define post method used for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we have define page variable, with view exam value, action variable, with user details value, as data has been sent to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if Ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this block, we have write dollar with division tag ID, user details area, with HTML method, and under this we have write data variable, it will display user profile details in HTML content under this tag. Now we have go to user Ajax action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to user detail. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select star from user table where user ID is equal to dollar session user ID variable value. This query will fetch particular user details from user table. Now below this query, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method, it will return query execution result. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to this HTML code for display user profile details. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, again we have write dollar output variable, and in this variable we have append this HTML code. First, we want to display user profile image, so here we have write image tag with source is equal to upload folder slash dollar row user image variable. It will display user profile image. After this, for display user name details, here we have write dollar row user name variable. Same for display user email address details, here we have write dollar row user email address variable. And lastly, we want to display user gender details, so here we have write dollar row user gender variable. Here we have store user profile details in dollar output variable in html format now we have write echo statement with dollar output variable it will send data to ajax request now we have go to view exam.php file and here we have called load user details function it will call this function when page has been load in browser. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, here we can see timer on web page, and below this timer, 
we can see user details. So, when user has come on this page, then he can view his profile details, so he or she can know they come on right exam page or not. So, in this part, we have make online examination timer for view, how many minutists are remaining, and we have also discuss how to load user profile details on view exam view page. In next part, we will discuss how to give answer to question by using PHP script using Ajax. If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected with us.